Good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. Now, since I last spoke to you, which was last night, I have washed my hair four times. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, I was clearing out all of my makeup, skincare, hair things, and I put this hair mask on my hair, and I put far too much on, and it was maybe about five years old, and it's not coming out. So, we're on the fourth wash. It feels way better than it did. I've also used four different shampoos. I think I'm at the point, I can still feel there is some in there. I'm at the point of using Fairy Liquid and I really don't want to do it, but I need something super clarifying. I really, really messed up. But welcome to the vlog. If you like these vlogs, you know what to do. A thumbs up goes a really, really long way. It is Monday today. I've worked out, I've been on a morning walk and I've just made myself a coffee ready to get on with my day. And then tonight, I'm going on a little date night to Harris and meeting my friend Em there. I'm gonna go on a little date night, which will be really fun. I also need to buy a new suitcase whilst I'm there. So hopefully they have that in stock. But yeah, I'm gonna go and finish drying my hair and hope that it looks a bit better than this. I've just finished my makeup and I think I have a new favorite combo this is charlotte tilbury hot gossip lip liner with charlotte tilbury wedding bells lipstick which i guess i think is a limited edition it's got a bit more depth to it than pillow talk and i really like that also i think my hair is passable i think once i've oh no then i touch it and i'm like oh no it feels like a helmet uh i also want to unbox my new vacuum today which i'm very excited to do my old one is about six years old and uh the time has come to go out with the old and in with the new this is the best i'm gonna be able to do with my hair i've been fiddling around with it for far too long and it's just not having it so i've had to fill it with a bunch more product and it looks just really bumpy and really yeah not great i'm gonna have to wash it again tonight and fingers crossed it will actually come out it's vacuum time i am so excited to open this so this is the samsung bespoke jet ai so it has ai technology which is so cool but there are so many reasons oh my goodness it looks amazing that I went for this vacuum. Firstly, it's cordless. I just don't think there is any need for a corded vacuum anymore. It's multi-surface. So when I have my stair runner on my stairs, I won't have any problem kind of using it on carpet and on my wooden floor. There's a pet attachment and the run time is 160 minutes. So I'll be able to do the whole house, no problem. And I also took into consideration the weight. Not a very strong person. And I wanted to know that I could kind of lift this up and down the stairs, no bother. So it comes with two batteries. There's a larger battery and then there's a an additional 60 minute lightweight battery so for like day-to-day -day, here and there vacuuming and look this is what it says about the ai it says ai cleaning mode the world's first ul verified ai cordless vacuum cleaner comes with two adaptive brushes and samsung's ai optimum tech that intelligently recognizes different floor types and adjusts the suction power automatically all while saving energy by reducing battery power by up to 21 percent so, and it also has Wi-Fi, so I can also connect this to my Smart Things app, just like my washer and dryer that I actually need to actually set up and connect to my app. My TV is all connected to my app, and I can connect my washer and dryer and everything from my app to my TV. So when my laundry's finished, I can have a notification come through on my TV. It's so crazy. But let's get all of this out. It's also super important to me that I have a vacuum as well that can deal with hair because my hair is absolutely everywhere. It's so pretty. Ooh, I feel like this is the first proper thing that I've actually set up in my home. I haven't really done much of this, you know, instruction reading. Ah, my warranty card. Ah, my charger, wonderful. Oh, I like that, it's like a little dock. So we have the slim LED brush and the active jewel brush. And then we have the stand. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love something that's neat and tidy. Honestly, this does so much for me. So cute. Oh my goodness, this is so legit. This is on AI. This is on mid. Max and Jet. Okay, first impression. Super light, as you can see, and this has the bigger battery on. I think I would just leave it on AI mode. I don't really see myself needing to change the modes to, like, medium, max. Also, I assume the pet feature is for hair, which is going to be amazing because my hair 
But for now, let's set the dock up in the place that I want to store it. And yeah, I will pop the batteries on charge and we'll give it another go later, actually put it to use and vacuum the whole house. But for now, I'm very impressed. It's very sleek. It's more compact than any vacuum I've ever had and it feels seriously powerful. I feel like it would be criminal to not vacuum the cupboard first. And this is how it looks. I genuinely thought it was going to take up the whole cupboard, but no. I mean, I could even get an extra shelf put in and have these on the shelf. But I have the battery dock back here charging the other battery. One of the huge points for me wanting this vacuum was you see this part here so in here there's essentially a dust bag and when you put your vacuum onto the stand it not only charges it but it also empties it for you into here so I don't have to actually fuss with emptying this into the bin or anything I empty it into here and then when the dust bag is full I simply remove the dust bag put a new one on and it empties itself basically which is such a good feature for me because I would end up emptying my vacuum into to the bin the dust would go everywhere there'd be bits and bobs all over the floor i'd have to then vacuum again and now i have none of that so it just feels like one less thing to have to think about i'm just over the moon with how sleek that looks i actually don't even need to put this in a cupboard i think it would look fine out but just for now this is how it's living oh I'm so happy with that. Do I look disheveled? Because I feel it. Oh my goodness, what a freaking day. I'm looking down, I've got one slipper on, one slipper off. I don't even know if I have any lipstick on anymore, my hair. Oh my goodness. I have had the craziest day. So basically, I've been trying to play catch up over the last however long, and the list just keeps getting longer and longer and longer. And I finally today have finished the list, and I'm so happy about it. And it just means that like my brain can function again. I feel like it was all jumbled. Like, you know when, I don't know, all your necklaces are tangled together or you used to have a bag of those Scoobies things when you're at school and they were all like tangled together. That was my brain until about 10 minutes ago. I literally sent everything over to the people that it needed to go to and I'm like, ah, oh, so now we're gonna get ready for date night. I'm going on a date with my best friend to Harrods and I'm very excited. I would like to go for a little browse. I'd like to go for a little nibble because I have not eaten enough today. It's been one of those crazy days. I never understand when people say that they forget to eat. Uh, today, that was me. I literally, two hours ago, was stood there eating like a pack of prawns out of my fridge like I am ravenous so I want to go and get some dinner and I need to go and see if they have a suitcase as well but first I need to like fix my face step one I'm gonna go and brush my teeth because I feel like that's gonna make me feel fresh so I have these jeans that I've never worn they're from rag and bone I got them from a charity shop actually I think they were like 10 pounds and I've never worn them but they're super comfortable in terms of like they're not tight and I'm going very cash tonight but I am I mean I wanted to wear the bright pink jumper but I don't really have anything travel wise to smarten that up and I, I want to put look put together so I can't really go in joggers <laughs> I could I won't oh wait these are literally gonna fall down on me okay um they're low waist so I can't really wear a belt okay that's gonna annoy me I'm gonna change I'm overwhelmed and I look like I work at Zara but this is the outfit I actually do look like I work at Zara I've got this golden gooses this is uniqlo this blazer i love it but i much prefer my sandro one that's still lost i really need to find that it must be in los angeles but i genuinely don't know how it could be and if it's not then i don't know where it is so it's a mystery i might have to start looking on depop and vintage and see if i can find another one but i'm gonna take my goya st louis tote and not forget my camera battery or my <laughs> sd card and let's head off to harrods chaos is the definition of this vlog and of this house i will have it all tied up by the end of the night but for now i am going out <laughs> Should I be leaving my house in the state as in and going out and having fun? No, not really. But I am feeling insanely accomplished right now. I can't even tell you. I'm so, so happy. So, and I'm, I'm okay about it. It's gonna be a late one tonight, it's fine. But I will sort everything before I go to bed. And also, it's not, there's not like that much. There's just much. I've arrived at Harrods ready for date night and I've realized I haven't been in since they reopened the food halls. So I definitely want to go and have a look in there. Ooh, maybe we could get pasta for dinner. Em's here. I told them we're having a Harrods date, date night. Date night with moi, <laughs> so we're, we're gonna start at the top. I'm gonna work our way all the way down to the basement because I want to go to Romoa, which is in the basement. And that should bring us out at a perfect time. And oh, food, we need food. Okay. I'm so, no, come and see, I wanna do that first, but. I kinda like the dim sum in Harrods. I'm kind yes. of in the mood for dim sum. Oh, I could do that. Yes. Did, have you been to the Dim Sum Terrace? No, never. I've you been, go. yeah. Oh, really good, I went for lunch. I highly recommend. 
but hopefully it shouldn't be too busy in there at this time of day normally it's fine but i need to find some lip balm because it's that time of year wow you guys look at these dresses i am in love this dress right here oh my goodness i think i will literally dream about this wow this is so nice oh look it's the new season version of my coat so nice get it yeah i love this i feel like you wouldn't think i'd be a montclair girly but they are so nice also love this this is a bit like the one you're wearing your canada goose but yeah, I love it. it's like my purple canada goose isn't it yeah has anybody tried this i hear it's supposed to be really really good but i've never tried it see this is what i could absolutely demolish right now the radiatory pasta with probably the cherry tomato sauce that one right there this looks so good it's an asian prawn noodle salad and then this one looks really good the tuna and i think this is beef this i could eat this right now but i need to go down to uh get my suitcase so you guys look at this how festive ghost lolly come on that is absolutely adorable if someone turned up my front door with these i would be absolutely over the moon wow I need to find someone to gift this to because that's such a nice idea. This is my haul. I got a chocolate date and then some little truffles just to snack on. So this is what I'm looking for. This is basically what I have in the medium size. I have, this is the bigger one. I love the pink, but they don't have the pink in the medium or I would have definitely gotten the pink even though I want the whole set. But yeah, this is what we're looking for. So. I know, I don't have this one though. I have the other one for my travel. It's cute, isn't it? Look at these as a set. I think the metallic blue, but actually, I think they're heavier. That's the thing. I'm genuinely so happy. I thought I'd turn up and they wouldn't have one, and it's the one time I specifically knew I was going to come in and get it. So I'm really happy about that. How was your date night? It was amazing because it ended with salted caramel dates. So, so good. good. And you had scallop. Um, dim sum I you? also had a dim sum night date where I just got we had major girl dinner yeah, I know. it was I was like girl dinner <laughs> yeah. and we finished our night with dates and well I had truffles we, we had, had dates, dates on our date we had dates on our date and I feel very accomplished that I went in there and got the thing that I needed I, I really I don't know why I convinced myself that I was going to go in there and they wouldn't have it that's I not how my session works no I know and you know what I shouldn't do that but we're just doing a little loop around South Kent Station, lovely, just, lovely. you know, an evening walk whilst it's not bitterly cold out yet. I feel like we have to make the most of these days. Yeah, we do, because it's going to be cold soon. Although, so enjoy this. you've got the Canada juice out today, the Canada you? Juice. Yeah. Because I just got back from Scotland and it was bald tip. I really, they really not this. Nice. I feel like I've had a lot of coldness. I've literally gone from Norway, Iceland <laughs> yeah. to Scotland. Why have you done that? It's been very cold. It's a lot. Look at my cutie patootie little suitcase. I'm so happy. Let me wheel it over and show you. The woman serving me was really, really lovely. And she was like, yeah, do you want to like put it in a bag? And I'm thinking, bag? How are you gonna fit that in a bag? And I was like, no, like it's literally fine because I, there was no way I was gonna be able to carry that. She was like, you can just wheel it out. And I was like, okay, cool. But I have this real fear of being told off and you're not allowed suitcases in Harrods. So I was just like, oh my goodness, I give it 30 seconds until I'm about to get absolutely annihilated by a security guard. But hopefully it was obvious that I literally just bought it. But yeah, I have the trunk version of this. I have the large version of this. And then I have my Ramoa carry-on, which I love. I don't have the white one, I have the silver one. But it was just, I don't know, it feels nice to have the whole set. And I have definitely been lacking the medium size because I like to travel with certain things like my blanket and a tripod and they don't fit in my carry-on and at the same time I don't want to then take my large one because I still like to take my carry-on because I take like my camera my bags I'm not going to check those but then I do need somewhere to check the things like the tripod and the blanket so yeah it had just been something that I've been meaning to go and pick up for quite a while and whenever I'm at Harrods it tends to be oh this one's different it's got a zip it tends to be in like the middle of the day or if if I'm like en route to a meeting or if I'm, I don't know, I have I have a gap, I'll go there if I, I need a wee or something. You know, it's never, I never really go to Harrods to go to Harrods unless I have a purchase to make. So that's what happened tonight. I need to register the warranty on this. 
Although, was it Victoria Paris? I think it was, who on, I watched her TikTok and she had a lot of problems with her Ramoas and I don't know if she managed to get them fixed in the end. I, I saw they gave her like a temporary suitcase. You know how like when your car breaks, they gave her like a courtesy suitcase whilst they fixed hers. I would just think they would give you a new one. I don't know, it's never happened to me. I've had my others for like two years and they're absolutely fine. So hopefully I'll be okay. But you don't really have much control over it, do you? Because it's not like it's me handling it as the baggage people. I keep walking into this room and just walking straight back out. I see so many things in here that I'm like, okay, I need a home, I need a home for that. But I don't quite know what to do with them. Like things like this. This umbrella I got given when I went to the Mary Poppins Returns movie. It's a Mary Poppins umbrella. And in my head, I'm like, well, it's a legit Mary Poppins umbrella because Disney gave it to me. I don't ever want to get rid of that. What does one do with it? Do I need to get an umbrella basket? But is it worth getting an umbrella basket just for one umbrella? I, you know, what, what do you do with that? Do I display it? Is that ridiculous? I mean, it looks like it got a bit damaged in the move. That's a shame. But it's still a fully functioning umbrella. I mean, there's definitely a couple of boxes in here that I can definitely empty. Like, I've got two boxes of just stuff and I definitely need to figure out what to do with the stuff. I mean, I'm in less of a hurry now because I feel like I've got most of it done and it is all confined to one room. But there's definitely things in here, like I've got three boxes of books. So as soon as my bookshelves are, are made, I'll be able to put those away. That's like immediately done. I have my TV ready for my living room and then once that's in, that's immediately done. So I'm not like freaking out about it, but I definitely need to sort some garden storage though. So I can put Nigel in there for now and my hot tub. I also want to pass on these rugs i don't think i'll use them so i need to sort that out somehow let me know how do you think i'm best to pass those on i know so many people use facebook marketplace but i don't know if that's maybe that is the perfect place actually for rugs let me know gumtree anything like that i haven't really sold furniture for a very long time so i don't really know mm. i also need to sort lampshades for the lamp bases that i have so if you have any suggestions that would be amazing i also have my floor lamp that i need to get a lampshade for for i think i might put it in the kitchen just because i feel like the kitchen needs some more like homely touches well in the snug oh everything in here is put away i need to enter the dishwasher and i'm gonna give it a quick once over with my vacuum and then i'll be happy <laughs> this room is like good it's fine there's no stuff everywhere can you see it's empty in itself okay. isn't that amazing oh so pleased. Well, my friends, I am going to love you and leave you. I'm calling it and I am so tired, but thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you enjoyed, give it a massive thumbs up and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.